Hey there, recently I made an intruder alert system using ESP8266 and GSM module. When the door is unlocked, the system will send a call alert to your phone and the controller. In this video, let's see how I built this. Let's get started with this video. This system uses ESP now communication protocol, so I choose these nodes used as the microcontrollers. We have two sensor nodes, so we need a total of three ESP ports. Here we are going to use many to one ESP now communication, that is the sensor sending the data to one controller. First, let's label each port with numbers for easy identification. We need to find the receiver's MAC address. So we can use this code to find the MAC address. Just upload this code to the receiver node MCU and open the serial monitor to get the MAC address. So copy or mark the MAC address. This is the sensor side code. You have to add these libraries to access the ESP now communication. Here you have to change the MAC address of your receiver. Also the ID. You can use any ID. This code simply reads the sensor data and sends the data to the receiver. You can learn more about this from the article. Now upload this code to the sensor side node MCU. Also upload this code to the other sensor, but change the ID. Next is this receiver side code. You have to make sure the IDs are correct. Now upload this code to the receiver node MCU. Now let's build the circuit. To detect the intrusion, here I am using the magnetic read switch. You can use any kind of sensor. To enclose everything, I have 3D printed this small enclosure. So first I have connected the read switch to node MCU. To power the sensor section, I am using a 3.7V lithium ion battery. So to charge that, I have also connected a TP4056 charging module. Then I connected the battery to node MCU and that's it. The same way I made the second sensor node. In the receiver section, I have connected the SIM 900 mini module to node MCU to make the call and also I have connected three LEDs to indicate the sensor status. As same as before, I inserted everything inside the 3D printed enclosure and secured it with screws. Now let's test the circuit. As you can see, when the sensor is activated, the LED will glow. Here I have placed the sensor on a door just like this and see the working. So that's all about this project. You can download this circuit diagram and code from my website. The link is given in the video description. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.